and think about that thought that allows for you to make drama. I'm not good enough. I can't forgive this. I'm, I'm small. I'm separate. This is hard. We have a really low bar on ourselves when we believe we're separation, separation itself. Forgiveness offers everything I want. What could you want forgiveness cannot give? Do you want peace? Forgiveness offers it. Do you want happiness, a quiet mind, a certainty of purpose, and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world? Do you want care and safety and the warmth of sure protection always? Do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed, a gentleness that can never be hurt? a deep abiding comfort and a rest so perfect it can never be upset. All this forgiveness offers you and more. It sparkles on your eyes as you awake and gives you joy with which to meet the day. It soothes your forehead while you sleep and rests upon your eyelids so that you see no dream of fear and evil, malice and attack. And when you wake again, it offers you another day of happiness and peace. All this forgiveness offers you and more. Forgiveness lifts the veil that hides the face of the divine from those who look from unforgiving eyes upon the world. It lifts the veil from the face of the divine that when you see this with unforgiving eyes, you can't see that everybody here is in the same position that I saw in that experience I had where I looked at this life and thought it was such a joke, such a hoot to pretend I'm asleep at some times and other people are asleep pretending at other times, pretending they're asleep and not remembering who we are because otherwise it's pretty difficult to live a life of separation if you're remembering your oneness as, as your perpetual state of being. Can you see how there's nothing else to do here once you begin to see yourself as not a body separate from other bodies? And how you begin to know firsthand your divinity? Can you see how anything that you touch, anything that you taste, anything that you feel, anything like the food, the book that you're reading, the, the things on your plate, the things that you, the water you wash your face with, can you see how all of that becomes part of your dream of creativity? This, this whole world is a world of separation that when we align with our divine selves, we create with this. But when we're separate from our true selves, we make drama. We default to making drama. And think about that thought that allows for you to make drama. I'm not good enough. I can't forgive this. I'm, I'm small. I'm separate. This is hard. We have a really low bar on ourselves when we believe we're separation, separation itself. And we're angry and mad at ourselves because if this is what forgiveness offers us, and then we find ourselves having a hard time forgiving, we're missing all this. We're missing waking up with our forehead unfurrowed and, and sleeping with, with our eyes being kissed by the light of the divine. Forgiveness lets the veil be lifted that hides the face of the divine from those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. It lets you recognize the son of God and clears your memory of all dead thoughts that remembrance of your father can arise across the threshold of your mind. What would you want forgiveness cannot give? What gifts but these are worthy to be sought? What fancied value, trivial effect, or transient promise never to be kept can hold more hope than what forgiveness brings? Why would you seek an answer other than the answer that will answer everything? Here is the perfect answer given to imperfect questions, meaningless requests, half-hearted willingness to hear, and less than halfway diligence and partial trust. Here is the answer. Seek for it no more. You will not find another one instead. 
So this is where we talk about for a moment, any challenge or situation that you're in the middle of that could feel formidable and could feel really real and, and really challenging, whether it's with another person or a situation or within yourself. And this is where we know that don't seek for any other answer because this is the direct route out the other side. Forgive yourself for believing that you were anything less than perfect, anything less than divine. Holy child of God, you came here to create the good, the true, the beautiful, and the holy. That's why you came to have a hoot, to enjoy this with all of your heart and soul, to show up wholeheartedly to a life where you can create anything because you are all powerful, all loving, all knowing, divine being. And then allow yourself now just to remember that on a daily basis by reminding yourself with any situation that arrives, the forgiveness is that you remember this is a call for love. How do you answer a call for love? Only one thing, only one thing going on always, love. When you become the love that's in sync with the only one thing that's real, love, now you're experiencing oneness. And believe me, that's the path to awakening. That's the path to seeing yourself as divine, living a divine life within divine arms, effortless love, unconditioned love, unconditioned being.